what's up you guys and welcome back to the channel it's me i know it's been a long 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 time but as you can see by the title i am here to do some reviews on this product okay so let's get straight into this video um i ordered this because i was getting a lot of advertisement on my instagram about it people trying it and saying that it matched their shade very well so i'm like hey why not i don't wear a lot of makeup i don't go out that much to even put on makeup i'm not a big makeup person but i just feel like every girl needs a foundation that matches their skin so that you know when that time comes around we'll have something so let's just get straight into this video. Um, I ordered the, the, what do you call this? Oh my God, Michelle. The foundation and the, the primer and the concealer. My foundation came out to be, what they chose for me is called Woke Up Like This. I don't know if they're all called like that. Oh, we'll go like this. But mine is 165. That's my shade, 165. And this thing is awesome. The poreless, the poreless um, soothing primer. And that's it right there. This looks like that. And the concealer. It says F. I'm flawless. F the word F anyways so this is what that looks like and it's in the shade 13 so let's get into it I have no makeup on my face right now uh, I'm kind of breaking out I don't know if it's cause of the mask that we have to wear for the situation that we got going on in this world or hormones or what but like i've been breaking out on my cheek area on my forehead and that's horrible i honestly feel it's what i've been eating lately we've been on the road a lot we've been traveling a lot and it's like you know when you're out traveling on the road you don't really eat the way you're supposed to even though you try it's kind of hard because it's not like you can cook your own food i mean we haven't been we haven't been in um yeah you get what i'm saying we've been traveling we've been eating crazy so a lot of times when i start eating a lot of fast food and stuff like that my face will break out i already um washed my face earlier and i put on some moisturizer so now we are just gonna get in there with this primer which is I don't know if you can see it's clear. And I just I'll rub it in my hand. And then rub it all over my face. And I don't even have a mirror right now. I'm literally looking in the viewfinder on my camera. So yeah, that's how my skin looks after. I'm just showing you like one side because the, the lighting from outside right now, this side is kind of dark. So I'm just showing you guys this side. So that's that. It's really like, really light, really soft after you put it on. Even with the breakout, it feels soft, okay? All right, that's step one. And you have the option when you, when you um, do the test and they pick the foundation for you you have the option to just go ahead with just the foundation or the primer or all three which i did all three and at that moment you pay for the shipping which is only five dollars and after 14 days if you choose that you like it you don't want to send it back then they um they charge you the full price and i think it's like a hundred dollars for all three which is still not bad okay that's pretty good all right so primer bam do i even have i don't even have my my booty blender my beauty blender 
All right, let me just grab that real quick. I have a makeup brush. What do you call this, a foundation brush? Let me do this then. That way I don't have to get up. All right, so the way I like to do mine, I put on my hand first. I don't know if anybody does that, but I put on my hand. And then I go on with my brush. Don't ask me what type of brush this is. It's a foundation brush from that brand. Focus. Focus. Milani, I think it's called. Yeah, Milani. And I like to like, just dab it in. Hold on you guys, I'm gonna get a mirror because I need to really see what I'm doing. One sec. Okay, I'm back. All right, so you can already see that it, it kind of look, it kind of look a little crazy right now, but let me keep blending, okay? Let me clean, keep blending this bad boy in. And like a little goes a long way. Like I only use my one little pump. I honestly think that I use too much. Okay, after dabbing, I like to do like little circular motions. I don't know if anybody else put their makeup on like this, but that's what I do. Let me just do like half of my face so you guys can see. See how it's going. And mind you, I didn't put on any concealer or anything like that. I just put the foundation and I am in natural light. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. Have the window wide open. In natural light so you can see how good this foundation is. I highly, 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 highly recommend. And it's not sponsored, you guys. This is just me doing my review. I, whew, I highly recommend. Okay, so like, okay. I think that's enough. I think that's good enough. So, what do you guys think? No makeup, makeup. No makeup, makeup. Do you see that? Despite my little, um, breakout area you can see that this color is like matching like there's n that looks like my skin does it not <laughs> am i lying and to think that all i did was answer answer a few questions about my skin and i have a perfect match and tell me this doesn't look like a flawless if I'm gonna wear makeup, I need something that matches my skin that looks very natural looking. And to me, this is it. So yeah, this is the results. But here goes the foundation, the um, I could tell I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. I just know that this stuff matches me and it looks good when I put it on. But there I go with the concealer. And I know that's not how you do it, but I've seen this tip that if you have baggy eyes, it's good to uh, go all the way up with your concealer. And we all know I have baggy eyes because my kids don't let me sleep and they're just naturally baggy, I don't know. I wasn't blessed with that snatch under eyelid. But I'm okay with it. So yeah. That's it with the concealer. And that's it you guys. I mean my skin is not the best to be showing it. The true beauty of it but you guys get the picture. Tell me this is not matching right now. 
and I've been at the beach. Like, look at my forehead. Not done, done. You can see where I stop, but look at this. This is beautiful. Do you see it? It's worth it. Give it a try. I highly recommend. Foundation, primer, concealer. So yeah, that's it for this video. I told uh, a lot of my friends that seeing that I got it, that I would do a review. And this is what I'm doing, the review. They're asking me, does it work? Does it really match? I think it really does. Really, really, I have no, honestly, I have, I have expensive concealers that just really doesn't match my skin. And this is like affordable price. Three things for $100, that's not bad. Versus what I paid for other concealers. I'm gonna show you guys what I have that doesn't really work well for me at all. So I recently threw out um, a couple other my concealers, but I had the Fenty and it was like I couldn't get anything that was just right it was either too dark too light or too tan looking and then too light and then I got dang what's that name brand I don't know another high end that I bought from Dillard's and that they actually took the machine to your face and try to get the color and it still wasn't it was too dark I have Clinique no it looks perfect but it's not it just makes my skin look very like dark and then i also tried this this is like a drugstore one and it was not it either so i highly highly recommend this brand and the fun part about it the best part about it is that you get to try it before you buy it so like who wouldn't want to do that so that's my review I hope this was helpful for you guys, helpful in making your decision and whether you want to try it or not. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one. Peace.